Welcome back everyone. We are working on case one of our case studies for querying the model video series. This one is coloring ports by type using the contains operation. Now some of you may know that we actually have since this was a use case or a case study uh, implemented a feature called extract legends which will do the same thing but it's also um, very helpful to know how you might manually do something like this because there are certain things that the uh, that the extractor won't necessarily be able to do um, but for the most part it can parse through all the different properties and, and get everything but we're gonna do that manually in this case so we're going to start in the I've just copied over into a new folder the vehicle climate control system model and uh, this is our again if you're not familiar with this this is comes with the samples um, it's just a uh, vehicle climate control system and it's broken down from the problem domain black box and white box to the solution domain all the way through implementation requirements so it's a good starter model to get an overview especially if you are trying to use the magic grid methodology so for this first case study uh, i'm just opening up a new folder here created a folder called a package called case one coloring uh, ports by type and we'll go back and we are going to just create a legend item so in order to create a legend we're going to go over to one of these diagrams let's take this uh, VCCU conceptual subsystems so we have some good ports on here that we can identify so uh, let's find this example we see that it's in our white box over here and I'm just going to do a control C copy and paste and then I'm going to open up this and we'll go ahead and create a legend. So now we want to name the legend port types is what I'll be calling it. And then going back to the documentation. So we've created a legend. Now we need a legend item. Okay. And then we need to specify an adornment and a condition. So in this case, let's see, let's do cabin air outlet. We want it to match the port type that we're going to attempt to light up. So now let's specify an adornment. This is one of the things that I like about our wizard is it will automatically pick the colors for you. I really don't like picking the different colors, <laughs> but that's just a personal preference. We're gonna go with yellow. Okay, and then we are going to select elements by condition and we're going to choose a we're going to create an operation and it'll be a meta chain navigation a port to port type and then we'll select the object down here contains okay so i'll stop switching back and forth and we'll just go ahead and do this now before we change this to contains like on the documentation just one thing to note that the property test does the exact same thing we're actually not going to go over it in this particular scenario um, but i do want to point out that in 22x um, they added this functionality so that uh, the property test could essentially do the same thing that the uh, contains window does this is an example right here from our documentation on the 22x version news where you see a power system and you see a legend item e uh, i electricity 
and they're using a property test to say, does this is the type equal to this interface block? So um, this is actually a very neat way of doing it. We're just going to follow on with the documentation and do it the way that uh, it's on the website. So instead of a property test, we are going to choose an operation called contains. And then we're going to do a meta chain where we do property and we want type, I think. Go back to double check property and type, yes. And once we do that, we want to select our object. We call this cabin air outlet. So we are going to find that in the model. That's the one we want. And then we can go ahead and select OK. And we can see that we have yellow on this port and it's the only one. Oh, and we see that the cabin air ports here are also done so we know that's working and we can similarly fill out the rest uh, based off of the different port types so if we want to do that we have to find out what they are we could do output information just going to do one more of these. I'm not going to do them all. OK. Again, we'll remove that. And we're going to do a contains, a meta chain, property. and type, and this time we'll be selecting the output information element. So essentially what we're doing here is we're saying, does this meta chain, so it's going to search all the elements in the scope and it's going to say, does, does this port have an element uh, that is typed, that has a property, and it's typed by output information here? And if it does, then it's going to give it an adornment, which we need to specify. I'm going to do red for this one. Let's see red. And we can see that our port's turned red. Similarly, you can do this exercise for the rest, or alternatively, we could actually, instead of doing that, that's the manual way, I'll go ahead and show that we could extract our legend here, and we could simply choose all of these to extract, and we can see that not only can we get access to all these ports, but we can also get the information that's supposed to be going between them. One last thing to note here, if we look at the property, if we look at the legends and the legend items after it's automatically generated, we can see how our wizards solved the same problem. They still use contains, but um, one thing that I left off is the element type. If you don't specify this, it could look through every element in your model, and that's very, very inefficient. So you do want to specify that it should only look through the ports. Um, of course, it's not going, it's it's not going to do that because it's not applied to every single diagram. It's only going to do it through here, but even on this diagram. Um, uh, it would search through all of the different elements, but we only it's only necessary to look at the ports. So make sure to specify an element type. 
The other thing here is the reason this works uh, is because we need to return a true or false. So that's why we can't just use the meta chain. We have to use this contains. We say, does this, does this element uh, contain a property that is typed by cabin error inlet? If it returns true, then the adornment is applied. And that's why we can use contains here. Could also use property tests or anything else that you can return true or false, Boolean.